All right, Keith, thanks a lot. For the next three years, the sky is the limit for Airbus helicopters in Lowndes County. The company recently renewed its contract with the U.S. Army for 51 more Lakota helicopters, and today they celebrate. Parker King was on the ground and the air and lands just in time to join us live in the studio with more. Parker. Landing safe and sound, and at the celebration, everyone was there from military personnel, state and federal legislators, and of course the men and women who build these helicopters. A proud day for manufacturing in Mississippi. It's the first takeoff under a new contract, as Airbus in Columbus is set to keep Lakota helicopter production for the U.S. Army here in the Golden Triangle. The contract for 51 aircraft is a, is a significant impact here uh, on the workforce uh, and will uh, provide us with some production runway here uh, up until 2021. What a wonderful day. U.S. Senator Roger Wicker, an airman himself, says he's proud of the state he represents. This is part of a dream that uh, has become this, this great manufacturing hub at the Golden Triangle. He says this renewed contract is just what our nation needs to bolster its military. That makes it possible for us to use this facility to build the Lakotas and train the next generation of great Army uh, helicopter pilots. Along with Wicker, Governor Phil Bryant said in his speech there were doubts to bring helicopter manufacturing to the area. Those doubts now silence. Maybe Texas can do that, and maybe Georgia, but this is Mississippi. Can we find a workforce? Oh yes, we can find a workforce. Between that workforce. and uh, you know, how we're seeing the commercial market this year, uh, there will be an expansion of the workforce at the facility here. At the conclusion of the ceremony, test flights were given for these new Lakotas. Many will go to Fort Rucker, Alabama for training purposes. And from what Wickers heard, they're popular. From talking to one of the instructor pilots who's been at Fort Rucker, he says they start the new pilots off with this helicopter. He says they love this helicopter at Fort Rucker, and the Army pilots love this helicopter. Wicker wasn't the only one who got to give these Lakotas a spin. Never ridden in a helicopter before. <laughs> Never? Never. Of course I wouldn't say no to a ride. Having this renewed contract, putting more of these aircraft in the skies, gives workers at Airbus a sense of pride. It's amazing to think back the success of the program since then. Here, uh, 12 years later, 413 aircraft. So emotionally for a lot of us, it, it's very significant moving forward. The coolest things I've done in my life. And while this contract is only set to last until the beginning of 2021, Airbus tells us there's no doubt more renewals are in the future.